This is how I dyno tune the FMS 14 inch four blade prop. The first thing I like to do is I will weigh each one of the blades independently to make sure that they're uh, all going to weigh the same. Okay, the first blade weighs half an ounce. So I will base the other three blades on that weight and see what I come up with. Again, the second blade weighs five, half an ounce. Same for the third. Okay, it looks like all four blades are going to be within spec of each other, so... As far as the weight of the blades, I'm good to go. The next thing I like to do is I like to balance out the uh, spinner assembly before I attach the blades and uh, see how close to center it is. As you can tell here, uh, it, there's a heavy side of the spinner. You can barely see the little black marker on the bottom there. But no, it didn't matter how many times I rotated, it still came back to that spot. So that, that, that one spot of the spinner is heavy. Okay, to offset the heavier side of the spinner, I've added a couple of strips of gray duct tape on the uh, lighter side of the spinner. And uh, I spun it several times. I didn't, re I didn't want to record all the different times I spun it. But... Uh, it came out, it would stop at different locations, so I was satisfied that I had the uh, spinner assembly uh, balanced out. Now is the time to go about mounting the blades on it. Okay, on the uh, big beautiful doll here, I'm going to do the uh, one millimeter shim to increase the pitch on the blades. Uh, those uh, wire ties that I cut to make the shims up I wanted to make sure that they were all four of equal length so there won't be any deviation weight between them okay now that the shims are in place it is time to mount the uh, mount the blades Now with the uh, blades attached, uh, I came up with a, uh, well I'm not sure it was a problem. What was happening was it had a tendency to return to where I had put the tapes on. And uh, I, I kind of was thinking that might have offset the heavy side, but I wasn't for sure if I didn't go too far the other side with the blades on. So I'm going to hold off and wait until I get the cone mounted and see what I come up with the, uh, the cone mounted on it. Now that I have the cone on and I have the prop assembly fully completed, uh, I'm going to spin her up and see what I come out with. Uh, a couple of these attempts were kind of wimpy. I had some pretty good different throws on it that, it, that wasn't on camera, but I didn't want to take up camera time uh, running through a complete spin, so I was trying to do these these small spins on here, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy the way the prop came out and uh, now it's on to mounting it on the dyno and see how smooth she runs. Okay, one final spin on the balancer. Make sure everything looks good, looks smooth, looks balanced. I'm happy, so it's 
time to mount it on the motor, stick it on the dyno, and see what I got. When I was making this vid, I, uh, I wasn't aware that the battery in my lapel mic had gone out, so I didn't know I wasn't recording any sound, but I wanted to include this clip just to show how smooth and vibration vibration free the whole assembly was uh, what I'm using here as a demo motor I'm using the uh, FMS GNC 4250 500 kV motor and uh, as you can tell from the video the, the prop assembly out of the box all I did was added the duct tape that you saw and that was it. It is. I, I, I'm happy with the uh, performance of the prop straight out of the box and no complaints. I'd like to point out that uh, because of these are, I'm doing these run ups indoors, uh, none of these sessions here ever, ever even got close to half throttle. Okay, now that we've seen what it looks like, now let's listen to what it sounds like. Okay, we got sound bites. I'm happy with balance. I think that'll work.